It was November 23rd, 1978. It was late, and I was working hard on a case. A case to find a killer. I had no leads, no details whatsoever. Nothing to work off of except a bunch of newspaper articles and murder case files. This killer has been on the run for almost two years now, and no one has been able to stop this madman. That's because they didn't have me on the case. I worked diligently, rifling through files, searching records, and skimming press reports, and still, nothing. Seconds turned into minutes, minutes turned into hours, hours to days, and still, nothing. I've been away from my family for too long, especially my wife, Laura, who I'd protect with my life if it had to come to that. And working on this case has taken a serious toll on me. I was so close to giving up, but then... Rockford Private Investigators you're not going to find what you're looking for on those files, Jimmy boy. Who is this? Oh, you don't need to know who I am, Jim. All you need to do is follow these instructions. <laughs> yeah? Why should I listen to you? Oh, such a beautiful wife you have, Jimmy. Uh, Laura is her name, right? Oh, it'd be a shame if anything bad were to happen to her. If you lay one hand on her, I swear. Oh, don't worry. She won't be harmed, Jim. But you have to follow these simple instructions. Okay, fine. What do you want? Oh, it's really quite simple. Don't worry, you'll be able to keep up. Just tell me, what do you want? Oh, no need to yell, Jimmy boy. All I want is you. Wait, what? Yep. Meet me in the field behind the old house on Joy Street, 1.30 a.m. tonight. We will discuss what happens next, but you have to come alone. I don't want things to get messy, you see. It'd be a shame if Laura had to get hurt in the process. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be there. Just please, don't hurt my wife. Oh, oh, don't worry. I won't harm a hair on her head. But if you have someone else with you, are you being followed? I can't guarantee her safety, Jimmy boy. It's got to be just us. Don't you worry, I'm coming for you.
Glad you could make it, Jim. Who's there? Brandon? What, you don't remember me? Huh? No. No, Brandon, come on, no. Brandon Dud, my old partner. Brandon, you knew how I worked. That was eight years ago, man. Come on, I'm sorry. You gotta let it go. Oh, well, I'm past apologies, Jim. Now is the time for retribution. Now's the time for revenge. And this is how you're resolving it? By killing innocent people. You really are a sick man. He left me to do the garbage work, Jim. The shit nobody else wanted to do. I wanted to be a great detective like you. But instead, I got cut with all the paperwork. I didn't get any accolades, no honor, no fame, nothing. I got stuck on a dead-end desk job while you got all the glory. No more. You got me. That's all you wanted. Now let her go, Brandon. I don't think so. I said let her go. Uh, 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 uh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Don't come any closer. You'll see how sick and twisted I really am. Good, good, good. Now drop it. Down. There. You got what you wanted. She doesn't need to be part of this, Brandon. Let her go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she doesn't, huh? No. Laura, come on, Laura, speak to me, please. Laura, come on. You did it, Jim. You did it. Only for you. Only for you. It's so cold, Jim. So that's it. The story of how one man killed the most wanted serial killer in US history. Some may see it as an accomplishment, but I see it as a man who lost his way, and a man who lost everything in the process. After that day, I retired from my life as a private investigator. Come on, Dad, we're gonna be late. <sighs> You're just like your mother. One minute, sweetie. Many ask what I'm doing today. The simple answer is, I'm just living. <laughs>